Hey, what's up, friends? So in today's video, I want to show you how to create minimalistic clay mockups, and I'll show you some techniques that I personally use, so you will be able to apply them as well. And I'll show you one magic element that will allow you to create from any mockup or any shape, uh, isometric shape. So let's get started. So this is my Figma. As you can see, and I created already this frame. Uh, the size of it is 1920 by 1080. This is a full HD. Probably I'll use this uh, artwork after that as a thumbnail for this video. So let's get started. First of all, we'll create a um, base of our phone. And for this, for its base, I don't know. No, let's get started with a screen. And the size of the screen will be 375 by 812, which is the size of the iPhone 10. Uh, then let's duplicate this layer and make it a little bit bigger, just by 20, maybe 30, okay, 30 uh, pixels. Let's put the base on the background and change the size screen. So now we have this frame which consists of screen and the base. So for the base, for the screen, we will change the radius to 16. And for the base, we will change it to 24. Now we have this frame with rounded corners. So what I will do next is uh, I, will change the, I will change the color of the base, probably. Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll change it to exactly the same what we have uh, on the background. So now we don't see the base, but once we'll start working with shadows, let's apply inner shadow to that. So I'll use two shadows here. The one will be at the bottom for the base and another one will be at the top of it. So let's create the first one. We'll start with a top shadow, top inner shadow. For this one, I will use something like for blue 20, uh, X will be 10, and Y 2. So as you can see, we created a kind of volume for that, but I don't want to create volume like that. I wanted to make a, like, like a light goes from the top left corner. So that's why I changed it to FFF. Let's apply like 100% here. And now let's add another inner shadow. And for this one, I'll use almost the same parameters, but instead of for, for X, we will use minus two and for Y minus 10. So yeah, we created this volume. Again, I've never seen black shadows. So that's why usually I use some something colorful like like this one. I want to make it clean and beautiful. So now we have this base. Uh, what I don't like in this work that these rounded corners are not enough rounded. So that's why let's apply it like 40 for the screen and 50 for the base. Yeah, I love it more. What we will do now with the screen, basically the mock-up is ready, but uh, what I want to do is I want to copy this screen I'll change it to component. To do that, you just click command option K. Now it's a component. Now let's remove this screen from here. We have a base, which is like a, a plastic volume clay element. And let's copy this one by holding option. So now we have this one. Why we created this component? Because now when I took, for example, this guy from here, and we'll put here in this artwork and change its size so it will be inside of the screen. So now we have this element and everything that I'll put in this component will be reflected in our mockup. So what we see here is, um, let's add something like hello world. I think this is the most uh, important message that we can send to our future generation uh, yeah to R probably 
but we will use just one. It's Roboto, mm, a little bit boring. Uh, so we'll keep it as it is. I'll change the color of it to something like this one. And let's make it a little bit smaller, maybe 24. 24 will be enough. Hello world, and we are running here. So now everything that you will create here uh, will be shown here as well on your mockup. And it looks already amazing, but what I wanna do is add one more shadow. In this case, it will be drop shadow, just to add more volume to this element. I'll change the blue to something like probably 80. And let's move the shadow a little bit to the right and down and change the color of the shadow again as well because shadows are never black because you will never see the black shadow in the real world. Usually it has a little bit of purple or uh, blue, but never black. So that's why I use a little bit of purplish. Now we created this shadow and it shows, it adds a little bit of volume to the element. I really love it. Uh, let's change the opacity of the shadow much better. And let's make it a little bit more colorful. Yeah, now it looks much better. And actually it's done. This is basic mockup that you can use to present your uh, mobile mobile applications. But let's apply some magic here. What we will do, we'll take this base. Actually, we'll take this base and screen. We'll group them together. We'll duplicate them. Now I'll rotate these elements by 45 degrees. Group them again. So now we have this square and I will change the height of this group to 57, 73%. I'll explain the magic behind 7, 57, 73% uh, in the next video, but here I just wanna show you how to create isometric, isometric elements. And this is just, just do the same that I did. Take element, rotate it by 45 degrees, then group it and then change the height of this group to 57, 73%. Now we have isometric mockup. I don't like it because uh, we lost all the shadows. So that's why let's work on it a little bit. Let's change the drop shadow. Let's remove, let's set X position to zero. Now we'll move on the, like on the vertical line. Let's move this Y to 100. Yep, it's there now. Let's make it darker. Now we have this design and this mock-up. It doesn't look real, so let's add some realism to that. To do that, I'll make it a little bit bigger on the right bottom part and the left one. Also what I'll do, I'll change the radius of these two elements to 65 to make it more real. Now it looks beautiful, right? But let's also move this, our screen a little bit to the top and let's change the inner shadows parameters to for example, for Y we will use. Usually what I do, I always test it. So yeah, now it's much better. Let's test with the white one. Maybe I'll apply zero. Doing well, great, love it. And let's change the opacity of it like that. So boom, we have isometric mockup. So the magic of this um, isometric mockup is that Everything that you can see here will be applied here as well. And if I'll decide, for example, to change uh, the size of this, the color and the size of it to something else like 32, it will be exactly the same here. Let's also change it, yeah, to 
center line. Hello world will be here as well. Yeah, it's not the best design in terms of mobile app design, but it's just because the tutorial is not about how to design mobile application. This is about how to create mockups. And I would change a little bit here, but you can always play with these elements. Uh, let's select, yeah, this screen. Let's move it a little bit on the shape. But basically it's done. So now you know the magic, the magic of how to create clay minimalistic mockups and also how to create isometric mockups. So I hope you like it guys. Subscribe to the channel, put your comments below, press like if you like this video and I see you in the next video.